So this is the chance we have for our boy Fernando who's coming here to take a shower and he's we're gonna try to have him pour up on the mosa. Right. Are you where are you? Can you go up on your house? Yeah. Fernando, you're naked. I know, but I okay. Do anything. I told her you don't want to you're you sitting here naked on a couch. Hey, do you want early access to videos like this? It seemed like you were very invested in her. You say, would you be surprised if I said the L word when we are together? So what's the L word, Adam? Love. Were you in love with this, with this girl? I was starting to feel that way. You were way. starting to feel that way. But you hadn't even met her, Adam. Or like this. What's going on here? What's up? From Pakapool to Playing pool with a 12 year old. We're just friends, that's all. Do me a favor, Rob. Could you put the pool stick down and just have a yeah. seat for me right over there? Right now, these videos and more are available on my locals, and for only five buckaroos a month, you can watch them. That's right, for the price of only one pumpkin spice latte a month, you can watch these videos and support the ski team in catching these predators. You know, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty much a no brainer. Now that I've got all my e begging out of the way, Hope you enjoy the video. We all love a good hot shower after a hard day's work. There's nothing quite like a stream of hot steaming water to soothe your predatorial skin, along with a clarifying cleanse of good old fashioned soap suds when you meet your 13 year old date. Oh, wait a minute. This is a rather unique case. Meet Fernando. He's 32 years old, a husband, and a father of two very young children. Yet, he's hanging around on the Whisper app, chatting up underage girls online for some reason. The nerve of some people. When Fernando showed up to our sting house, it wasn't long before he was completely naked in a hot, steamy shower. But you're probably wondering how he got himself into this situation. To better understand this, we should probably refer to the handy dandy chat log. Fernando comes across our decoy account on the Whisper app and ignites quite the hot conversation. Hi, I'm Fernando. What's your name? I'm Kristen, and I'm 13. Is that okay? Oh, wow, mommy. You're young. I'm 32. Double your age. You okay with that? Yeah, I think it's cool that you're older, lol. Hmm, you still a virgin? Yes, <laughs> lol. Hmm, what's your type of guys? Oh, I don't know. You seem cool though, lol. <laughs> it's dangerous that you're underage. I could get in trouble. I'm not gonna tell anybody. <laughs> Do you ever please yourself? Sometimes. You're not a cop, are you? Um, no, WTF. <laughs> okay, I just don't want to get in trouble. Now that we're all caught up on Fernando's backstory, let's get into the nitty gritty of today's dose of predator pasta. It was a long day at the Sting House out in LA. Uh, the previous day we had just caught that, uh, that Kenneth guy that you know, ran from us and we had to chase him around for about three miles. So um, you know, that was quite the experience. But on this day, Fernando also gave us quite the experience. And it was a little different than the previous day. Fernando came across our decoy account on the Whisper app. You know, he starts a conversation. The girl tells him that she's, you know, 14 or 13 years old. And um, he gets right into it. I mean, doesn't waste any time. You know, starts talking sexual. And before you know it, he's, you know, getting off work and he's ready to come on over and meet this underage girl. 
And mind you, Fernando is a family man. He has a wife and two very young children. You know, you, you just hate to see a family man do this sort of thing, you know. And there was really only a handful of messages that were exchanged between, you know, Fernando and our decoy before he was ready to, to come on over. A very fast mover. Now, we had gotten some absolutely crazy content the previous day. And on this day with Fernando, we decided to try to one-up that by trying to get him to come over, take his clothes off, and get in the shower. And um, it actually worked out, surprisingly enough. So the decoy Courtney is on the phone with Fernando. We know he's on his way. We hear him in the car. So, you know, we get into a position and get ready to have this um, ever so exciting shower party with Fernando. So what's this guy's name again? Fernando. Fernando. So this is the chance we have for our boy Fernando who's coming here to take a shower and he's we're gonna try to have him pour up a mimosa. Right. We got that all set up for him over there. Mm -hmm. uh, the girl tells him she's 13, he says he's 32. Let's see what he's talking about. Keep virgin. Let's see where we where we have that. Dude. Oh, double your age. Double Are you cool age. with that? Send me pictures. Yeah, you're too. Yeah, you're so cute. Too bad you're so young. Are you a virgin still? That's the type of guy she likes. He says it's dangerous that you're underage. It's dangerous for him to come up in this house and take a shower. All right, I'll tell you that. Just call him quiet. What's up? Where are you at? I'm gonna go there. You're still 20 minutes away? Are you, where are you? Can, can you go out by your house? Yeah. Okay. Are you almost here? Yeah. Okay. So we hear Fernando walk in. He's sparking up conversation with the decoy, trying to make her comfortable. You can tell by his voice that he's pretty nervous. So, you know, he pours up a mimosa. Now this guy thinks that he's in this house alone with this 14 year old girl. Little does he know that just about 15 feet or so around the corner from him, there is a camera crew of about 10 guys. Now just by hearing, we could tell that Fernando had poured himself a mimosa and he was really starting to, you know, get comfortable with the decoy. Now at this point, Courtney's performance as the decoy is just, you know, astounding. She's doing a great job, but we needed her to go that extra mile. We need to get this guy, Fernando, in that shower. By any means necessary. It's gotta happen. I think he's in there. Now, we had no idea what was going on from around the corner, but we were just praying that we would hear 
the shower water turn on. This guy is in the f shower. <laughs> Holy sh He's talking to the decoy from the shower, trying to get her to come inside and join him. I mean, Fernando, she's 13. Come on. You know, it's just, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, look what we have in here. Now, the longer you looked at it, the, the worse it got, honestly. Um, his um, area down there was um, not very impressive at, at all. Um, if you could imagine, you know, a shrimp. It's pretty much a shrimp. The bush to penis ratio on Fernando was uh, subpar at best. Not impressive at all. Not impressive at all. You shower? Oh sh! No kidding! Let's come out here and talk on this yeah, couch. Talk. No, it's gator needed. Like, who needs clothes nowadays, anyways? Oh god! Let's go. Let me get my clothes. Oh, oh. No, no, thank Sorry, you. we should probably cover this up, though. It's we'll get him a cup or a shot glass. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, this way. Anything. This way. This way. I'm gonna give you a cup. Come here. Mission: Get Fernando in the shower was accomplished. However, there was still more work to be done. We still had to have the confrontation. Do we have a do we have a, do we have a towel anywhere? Or? No, well, it's towel is here. No, it's okay. It's here. You never see like wherever, wherever you want. So we got Fernando out of the shower, but the problem was, you know, he was still naked, and we didn't want to see that tiny pathetic little shrimp anymore and there were no towels left, so the next best thing that he could cover up with was a purple plastic uh, solo cup, um, similar to one that you would see at a, at a frat party, uh, for example. Just, just one of those one of those cups. Yeah. I mean, we know you're nice and clean, so... Do you want to use a blanket to cover on up, or...? So, what's your name? No, I don't want to talk. What's that? I don't want to talk, but you You'll take your clothes off, but you don't want to talk? Yeah. You don't You don't seem very shy. No, I don't want to talk. You're already here. You already did it. So let's oh, have a conversation. We can do it with police or without police. So you make up your mind. Whatever you want to do. No, I don't want to talk. Um, Would this be your profile on the Whisper app? No. No? So your name's not Fernando? I'm scared. I don't want to talk. And you're not 32 years old? Do you have an idea on you, Fernando? Oh, wait. Yeah, it's probably in the Spanish. He's, I don't want to talk. Yeah. I don't want to talk really. I, don't want to. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to you. You're already here, 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 bro. I know. The girl tells you that she's 13 initially. She asks you if it's okay. You say, wow, you're young. Yeah. And then you say you're 32. Yeah, How did you mess up? Oh, I just came here. I don't want to do nothing with her. I told her straight up. I don't want to do nothing with her. Why did you touch me then? I didn't touch you. Anything. Why were you? No, are you naked? No, bro, you're no. naked in this house. No, I'm just going to show The whole I didn't plan working. on anything isn't going to work. Fernando, yeah. you're naked. I know, but okay? I didn't do anything. I told her no. You're you sitting here naked on a couch. You can't sit here and tell me that you weren't planning to do no, anything with this 13-year-old girl that you're here to meet tonight. There's a cup on your right now, bro. No, I don't want to talk. But you actually, want to shower. At a miner's house. No, no, no. With me. You have to join you countless times. Just did shower. Dude. Asking, oh, no. asking no. that nobody's home. No. Oh, I'm sure there's nobody home. No. no. And that was an awfully quick shower. Did you scrub in between the knees? No. Okay. So here's the deal. We're already here. We're already filming you. We can already call the cops if, we, if you would prefer that. But it's already done. So this is your chance to explain yourself. In front of the world. Have a conversation, man. That's it. You, you pretending like this isn't happening is not going to help you at all. I don't want to. You ask her if she's a virgin. Well, why, Fernando? Why'd you want to know if she was a virgin? 
It would be better if we just talk this through. Or would you rather talk to the police? At this point, not only was Fernando's private exposed for a number of people to see, but so was his privacy. And when your privacy is exposed, it's never a good thing. And that's where today's video sponsor, Delete Me, comes into play. What up? It's your boy Sellout Skeet here, and I'm here to talk to you about Delete Me. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now you might be asking yourself, what is Delete Me? Well, it's a hands-free subscription service that will remove your information that's being sold online. When you subscribe to Delete Me, you'll gain the power to delete your personal data from the World Wide Web. Things like your phone number or address, for example. Delete Me even monitors and repeats personal data removal as needed. There's all sorts of different ways that companies can get your personal information and you really don't want it being out there, so it's important that you subscribe to Delete Me today. It's your personal data and you have the right to protect it. So if you want to remove your information from search results, be sure to head over to joindeleteme.com slash gene, where you can save up to 20% off of their privacy plans. Again, that's joindeleteme.com slash promo code gene. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hand you back over to Skeet Hansen. Why did you want her to shower with you? Were you I'm concerned sorry, for her I'm health? Sorry, I'm sorry. I think the part that's even worse is I found two children in his phone. Oh, you have kids? Who are these? Oh no, come on. Now. You have kids? You have kids, bro? Two tiny ones. I don't want to talk about them. Oh, so, I guess. Nothing really surprises me in this business, but when you find out that the guy has kids of his own, uh, it's you, you know it just uh, it's just heartbreaking. It really is. What is your wedding ring? Did you hide it? Fernando, you walked in here. The least you can do is answer our questions. Okay. You're already here butt ass naked I'm on sorry. the couch. I'm sorry, you want to So say something. Explain yourself. Help us to understand right now. No, man. Why, why is this so okay? We're genuinely we're trying to listen. It's not okay. I talk this way. It's not okay. Of course well, it's not okay. There is a first thing that you said it right. It's not okay. But somehow you, you hear with a little tiny <laughs> here. He asked her what her type of guys are. He asked her what the oldest person is that she's dated. Listen man, for the rest of your life you're gonna have to explain this. So, here's your opportunity now before the world makes up their mind about you. If there's anything you wanna say about- I'm sorry, I messed up. What are you sorry for, Fernando? Who are you sorry to? Sorry to everybody. I want to know what you're sorry for. You're sorry because I messed up. Like, no, you're sorry because right. you got caught, is what yeah. you're saying. How'd you, how'd you mess up? I mean. I don't know what I right. So you knew it wasn't right before you came here and stripped down. How old is your kid? Fernando, how old is your kid? No, it's alright. How old is your kid? How many kids have you done this with? And do no, not no. say zero because no, I know that's bullshit. No. So she was exceptional. So it's absolutely exceptional. No, no, it's Here's your it's so easy mimosa, for you Fernando. To come to this child's house today. We've no. never done this before. And Fernando, uh, are, are you married or? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're married. You are married. I'm so sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh I mean, what would your wife think of this? I mean, you're sitting yeah, here yeah, right. naked in a living room of a 13-year-old girl's house. She took it's okay. He doesn't have to work with us. Law enforcement's on the way. Okay. All right, sweet. Awesome. Grant. So if you don't want to talk, you can uh, just stay put. That's fine. That's fine. You can or talk you to them it's in when they get here. To if, say if, something. If, if I say something, they won't come? Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's, we want to hear your side. We, we want to know, know what's going on. Why I I gonna gonna because it's, it's, gonna 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 talk, answering your questions gonna is gonna it's going to be jerking us for 15 minutes. We could have done this earlier, but now you're answering your questions is going to be in your best interest. It's going to be in your best interest, Fernando. No, best chance you've got here. How long have you been married? Hmm? How many years have you been married? No, I, if the cops are going to come, uh, I, I, I want to... If to you don't answer our questions, they will for sure come, Fernando. And if I, if I do, they're still going to come. If you work with us, we can work with you. I mean, what do you have to say for your wife and kids I, I here? Up. I was thinking, I was so stupid. That's what, that's do, do, do you think your wife's just going to no, brush gonna this over? Her. She's going to get I, know I, I, I think Matt is an understatement. I gonna, I've hooked up all my life already, so that, that, that's the whole thing. What would you have done if there had no, been a 13-year-old girl here? Nothing. I wouldn't do nothing. I just told her. No, nothing illegal. Yeah, nothing. but you were begging okay. me to go in the shower no, with you. You I touched nothing, me. Nothing illegal. Nothing illegal. It's very okay. illegal. 
You've you, already you, committed you, a crime. You being in the house right now is illegal. Oh. Yeah, that's right, because you, you know, I wasn't thinking you like just follow your right? That's it. When well, he goes, you follow. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking right. He was thinking with a whole two inches, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is ridiculously small. Dude, seriously. Mm -hmm. That's embarrassing. Yeah. Was the shower a little cold, or? Is that why you go after kids? No. It looks big to them. I think it is fun size. Yeah. So. It's like Disneyland where they have forced perspective. If you're shorter, it just looks longer. Burns right. out yeah. Yeah. How can you get in a house of a minor of a child and in seven minutes be naked in the shower? It didn't take long at all. Zero to a hundred. Hero. This is not the first time you've done this. There's no way. No, i never done it. Do you want a sip of your mimosa? I got the right to remain silent. So you keep saying you have the right to remain silent, but then you keep talking. So that's okay. your problem, right. not ours. Okay. We're just trying to understand, that's all. Okay. You also have the right to remain crying. Fernando, do you want to take a sip of your mimosa? It might calm you down a bit. It'll help, because the rest of the day is really going to suck for you. He drove, right? Mm -hmm. This might be your last drink for a while. Yeah. Bottoms up. You might as well enjoy it. I think the real crime here is you know, him having his bush be bigger than his penis. <laughs> it's like the movie The Hangover, when he comes out of yeah. the trunk. Mm -hmm. and the right, you know? yeah, it's all bad. It's just a pat, it's like a grass patch. Yeah. Your best option here, Fernando, is to just talk and answer the questions we have for you. Or finish your mimosa, at least. Probably the last one you'll be having for a while. Now, Fernando wasn't saying anything really, I mean, you would think that he would have something to say for himself, but, um, you know, we just couldn't get anything out of him. So, we just couldn't think of anything better to do than basically just sit there and roast him the whole time until the police arrived, and that's that's what we did. Tells me I don't think he's gonna be a fan of Moses. Probably traumatized now. I don't think I can and showers. I don't think he's gonna like showers anymore either. He might just switch to baths. I never have a drink out of a plastic cup. Fernando! Is it mimosa time or not? Are you praying? What are you saying, bro? What's going on right now? Are your kids younger than 13 or older? I would assume younger from the pictures. But I would like Fernando to answer it. see the pictures. So he's the one that sent pictures of his kids to a stranger online. No, no. no. Yeah. Security yeah. got his wallet. Oh, found him in his wallet. Right. Okay. I would say... So you carry them around with you when you go to minors' houses, okay. is what I'm saying. You're a family man. I would say under 10, yeah. from, from how it looked. Like yeah. Is there a cutoff where it's inappropriate for you? Is like 13 the threshold, or like, what is it? Is there anything going on with your kids that we need to know about? He don't want to He thinks like that. What yeah, if you cover your eyes that he's invisible. Pikachu, Pe what is it called? Peekaboo? Like, yeah. 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 This is the longest round of Peekaboo of all time. Yeah, he might be the world champion. You know, I yeah. want to set a world record. I think we're about to do it right now. Mm -hmm. Fernando, if you, if you don't answer our questions, we're just going to keep roasting you. All right, guys. Well, any more jokes? Um, that's that's all I got. I'm just getting yeah. secondhand embarrassment. And that's the thing he doesn't realize is that when you're silent, the world will fill in your story. Just say something here, Fernando. Something. Preferably in English. Preferably. Yeah, going to tell your story, man, so... You know, something besides BS excuses, you know, what Just love brought it. you here, you know? When, when did this attraction to 13-year-old girls start? Yeah. I mean, is, is it an addiction to the internet, Fernando? Is this something you go around looking for, or was it just convenient? Fernando, can, can, we, can you take your face out of your palms and just talk to us for a minute? At least it's dry now. Didn't even yeah, need a towel. This couch needs to go to the cream, crematorium. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the Airbnb host is going to be pissed. Oh Who's biting you? You have like bites here, bite here. Tyrone's going to be doing it in prison pretty soon, I'm sure. Yeah, kinky shit. Well, Fernando's, if that's all you have to say, then you know, what I have to let you know is that I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. We're doing an online series about adults who try to meet up with teens online for sex. And you've just been skeeted. Taste the rainbow, bitch. In 4K. Taste the rainbow. In 4K. Fernando, <coughs> you brought a knife? While you're what? cornering a 13 year old in the bathroom? Brought a weapon? That's all work. So here's what he brought. <coughs> and we got a wallet here. Big ass knife. Big ass knife. Where? Dangerous oh, stuff. As I do. Here's his, uh, here's his lovely kids. Since we're not getting anything else out of this guy, might as well come out and see what he's whipping here. 
Okay. Pretty nice. He's got the hood protection. Pretty nice car. I really dig this uh, this blue wrap he's got on the car here. How much uh, do you think this costs, Justin? About two grand. Yeah. Top. Or nice rims too. Are, are these four Giattos? No, I'm telling you, the rims are the hood protection. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna want to fuck it. If it's Pretty nice Honda Civic. It's fresh. They're I'm kind of beaters, man. I'm kind of jealous. Mm -hmm. Do we got cops here? California's finest. Um, ended up jumping in the shower, so he's kind of just sitting naked on the couch right now. Yeah. Um, he hasn't been detained, but obviously since he's naked, he's not just gonna run outside. Um, so that's when I gave you guys a call so we can kind of uh, get everything documented, um, kind of open a case on, on the matter. And um, did, Trilogy, right? That is correct. Uh, that's who we're working with. Talk to any detectives about the last one? Um, I tried to call the, um, I think it's the LAPD, like the, the helpline. I tried to give him a call, wasn't able to get through. I tried they usually to, yeah. work only during the week. Okay. But you haven't talked to a detective about the last one? Yeah, no one's reached out? No, no one's reached no. out. We couldn't get hold okay. of anybody. Whose house is this? Um, it's an this Airbnb. It's an Airbnb. Um, we already have consent through the owner to go ahead and perform the activities. Okay. Yeah, could I see that before we go in there? Um, which part? The Airbnb, you rented it. And those are the text messages? Yeah, text messages here. I don't know if you want to look through these, but um, yeah, he did come in and take a shower. He tried to get her to come in the shower with him. So right now he is on the couch naked with nothing but a plastic cup over his uh, his, his thing-a-lang, if, if you can even call it that. It's a situation. So, yeah, just just uh, kind of brace yourself when you when you walk in there. Um, can I keep this? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's Absolutely. fine. That's fine. Uh, who was the we, one that we, was... we just want the clipboard, but yeah, you can oh, have yeah. the... Who was the one that was talking to him? That was Courtney. It was Courtney. Yeah, she, she's in there. Courtney? Yeah, she's in there. Yeah, we'll have her come out in just a second here. And she's not 14? She's no, she's an adult, but posing as 14. Or thir was it 13 or 14? It was 13 or 14 for this one. I hope they take him naked. Where's your clothes at, dude? In the bathroom? Dude, where's my clothes? Do you mind grabbing the clothes from the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, I think he left them all in the shower here. A couple of belongings on the um, the counter over here. This clothes may have ended up in the shower somehow, but yeah. they're, they're in there. Yeah. Yep. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. That's his um, on the ground behind you. That's his. Okay. 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 Nice Wallet clothes. and knife right there on the counter. To me, the third this is a bad guy. Yeah, I can verify that number for you guys too if you want. Is it Fernando? Yes. Fernando. Fernando, can you call me close? Did you show the knife? I saw the knife. Yep. Yeah, take everything out. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Make sure there's nothing. There's nothing. I know, but I just got to double check. Understand. Yeah, the cup just fell. All right, come on, stand right here. Put your hands on your back. Palms together. Okay. Let me get him situated, and then we'll just get the rest of the Yeah. Okay, could you grab his keys right there, Bonnie? Yeah. You grab his, the, I said his keys right there. Keys, phone. Yeah, that's his phone on the table. Got his wallet and a uh, knife too. Okay. No, they're both in there still. Let's get him boats, boys. Get around your ski.
All right, boys, so that was, um, you know, that was Fernando. He uh, came to meet a 13-year-old girl, came to shower with her, and he left naked. Just, you know, completely embarrassed. You know? Left us with a now useless couch. And a now useless car. I mean, we got to take care of this shit here. We got to yeah, find a way to get to this towed. This is a classic, yeah. okay? We it is a classic car. It's a classic Civic. It's a certified hood classic. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, you know, he, he wouldn't say anything, unfortunately. So we had to roast him for like 20 minutes there. That Nothing better to do. That was a good time. It was really fun. And he's, um, you know, going in. He's in handcuffs right now. He tells his wife. I wish he would have called her. I've seen a lot more penis this weekend than I usually care to. Same. But worth it. Same. Not, Bare, no. But very much worth it. Not enough for you? No. You want to see more? Yeah. Just bigger ones. No. That way I don't think we can count that as well. I think though. that was... But uh, yeah, that's going to be a cut for now, boys. Now let's, uh, let's go get drunk. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. So the police come and address the situation and address Fernando. But, you know, first thing was first. Uh, they had to get his clothes back on. And once they did that, you know, he was put in handcuffs and put in the back of a police car. And Fernando didn't get off the hook so easy. He was charged for his actions, and the charges were not so light. At the end of the day, I just hope we all learned a very valuable lesson here. If you come across an underage girl on one of these apps, just don't talk to them, block them, don't come over their house when they're alone and try to shower with them. It's, um, it's never a good look, and you might end up like Fernando. And of course, there are many, many other predators out there just like Fernando. And if they happen to fall into our investigation, they'll be discovered and they will get skeeted, just as Fernando did on this day.